Let's talk to Mike Van Dalken. He's a strategist for Ascendo Markets. Morning to you, Mike. Morning. Uh, let's talk about the great British pound against the euro. Um, this chart yeah. doesn't look anything great about the British pound. Onward no. and downward? Yeah, I mean, mm. it, it just highlights that the pound was on a downer even into the even into the Brexit vote there, which is, you know, the, the June 16 uh, drop there. Uh, it's, it's had a very tough time, but we've had some support around 1-1. Um, the issue is more euro strength than it is pound weakness of yep. late. Um, but there is potential there for that to be what we call a, a bullish falling wedge. If we can get above, you know, 1 112, there's, a, there's potential that we get back to 115. So it is still persistently weak, but we haven't got any weaker than that 1.1 low, uh, 110 low. Is that a psychological um, round number, do you feel? I think it, I think it is, actually. Uh, unfortunately, this October drop there is, is, is a flash crash. In many cases, markets are even uncertain where it really did trade. It, yep. it depended what platform you're looking at. But for the moment, uh, there is potential for there to be uh, a bullish breakout, which could give us, you know, a another four cents upside um, then again you know Brexit uncertainty is still reigning supreme in the UK and uh, you know if we get some very strong dollar strength or euro strength Unfortunately, that could send us lower down towards one. Looks like I'm not going on holiday in Europe this year. <laughs> looking at that, <laughs> okay. uh, Mike. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.